All right, so uh, in this class, I'm going to be going over the next step, I think, in IK solving, which is, uh, again, uh, in the old system Houdini has set up in like 18 or in, in before, um, this would all be in the object level. And it would actually be uh, very complicated to set this stuff up. But because uh, they moved to SOPS level and they have all these um, great new additions into KinFX, we can actually get full body IK through essentially one node, which is awesome. Um, so we're going to go and I'm going to talk about the full body IK node in this class. So if you hit tab or right click in the network and just go in here, um, I have some digital assets, so don't uh, worry about those. But uh, if I just hit full body IK and I bring this in, then I you'll see uh, this is a full body IK solver. And it's got two uh, inputs. All right, so we're going to set this up. If you watched the last class, um, in the same way we set up the uh, IK chains uh, node. If you haven't, then I'm going to run through the whole setup again. So um, we essentially take, I'm going to start it out. I'm just going to call this null input. Input. All right. And then so we have our little animated um, skeleton in here and then we're going to use a blast node or you can use uh, delete joins or you could use even a delete node and we're essentially going to isolate what uh, joints we want to basically use as drivers for this um, full body IK so for me one of them that I always use is the hip and then I like to grab the feet the feet and then uh, I might, I actually, I don't think I'm going to do the hands. I'll do the head. I think, I, I think that's it for right now. So I'm going to delete these and then I'm going to go delete non-selected. And typically, if we're doing more complex stuff, I'll throw it in anyways, just because it should be part of your setup. You should run it through an add sop and then delete geometry with key points. And this is just to make sure that everything is unparented. In our case, uh, everything is already unparented. And for the sake of this, I'm just going to show it. Um, so let's say I wanted these knees joints in here too. So you'd see that they're parented to uh, the foot joint still. And we don't want that. We don't want anything. We want everything to move on its own and, and not, not have any constraints or not have any parenting um, for the setup. So we run it through a add sop and then we make sure that we're deleting geometry but key points. But for this, I actually don't really want these knee joints, so I'm just going to bring that in. And then for this setup, we want to plug the first input of the full body IK into the base skeleton. So that we want this to just be whatever we're feeding it. There can be animation on this. There can be everything, anything. Um, you could have rig poses above here. You could do whatever you want, but we basically want this to be the, the driver that's not affected by any of our, um, our rig pose uh, joints over here. Sorry, that doesn't make much sense. I'll, um, I'll elaborate a little bit in a second, but um, we want to drop down a rig pose now. So again, you'll use this node a ton. And we're going to plug this into the second input of our full body IK. And that's almost it. Um, from this point, let's see, bring this in. You'll notice not much is happening. And that's actually one important thing to note is that this uh, is often used with mapping. And I'll show that in the next uh, little video. But for right now, um, we don't want this default value to be map uh, mapping attribute. We want it to be match by attribute. And now we're going to get this full body IK solver where we can move these joints around and it's going to try its best to essentially make, <laughs> make it work. Um, and that's not, we don't, we don't really want that always. So if I, if I move the hips down and, and back or something, you'll notice the feet are, uh, are sliding down and we don't really want that. And so one thing, we can do in here is uh, 
on the full body IK node, we can hit this drop down in the configure option. And here is where we'll start configuring the weights of these uh, rig pose joints. So we hit plus, and I'll go ahead and I'll select the feet. So these joints, and right away, I'm pretty sure that has an effect. No, it doesn't. So right away, this doesn't do anything. Uh, if we crank this weight up, you'll see that it starts respecting the foot location um, of, of these a lot. It'll start respecting, essentially, this location a lot more than it respects this location. So it's going to try a lot harder to make this work than it will to make uh, the hips uh, place where they are. So I can move this hip around. And it's still gonna, it's still gonna have effect, but it's gonna make sure that these feet are, um, these feet are weighted essentially ten times more important than this hip is. So uh, that's kind of how it's it's reading it. Um, with feet a lot, I like to go ahead and just take the priority up. Um, the higher the priority, the more important it is um, to to lock that location. For feet, I usually keep them the highest priority uh, out of any of the configurations just so that it, it locks the feet to the ground. So if I go two, then you'll see that the feet are, are pretty, pretty cemented to the ground. And we can take this hip and we can <laughs> do some fun stuff to it. And um, yeah, so I mean, that's hideous, but uh, yeah, so you can see how um, this uh, this setup kind of works a little bit, and so um, I can add a bunch more of these. So let's say I wanted to throw in the hip, and I wanted to make the hip important. Then it's really not going to look a ton at this uh, head node. Okay, and so. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and um, bring in a few more of these. So let's see, I'm going to bring in the hands. Yeah, honestly, that might be it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to bring in the hands. Um, and now this guy should automatically be set up. But I'm going to go ahead and set the feet again. Get those. To, well, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and then you'll see that these hands have weight. But now if I don't want these hands to drag the uh, hip, I can go ahead and I can select the hip and I can increase the weight of the hip. So this is really just kind of like a weighting system of how you, you want things set up. Um, I can go ahead and grab the arm if I want to make that super weighted and if I increase the pri if you'll see if I increase the the priority of this arm uh, joint or this hand joint above where the, the foot joint is it's actually going to respect the foot joint more I mean the hand joint more now so you'll see that uh, it flies all the way over here because it's now it's it's saying this is most important first look at this make sure this is matching then look at this joint make sure this is where it is and then look at this joint, uh, and then, well, actually, I mean, priority zero is where all the, the base priorities are, so then it's essentially saying, look at the rest of the joints, uh, and this one, this hip is two times as important. So I'll clear this, and I'll show a little bit more. Um, I'm also going to clear this, because that's titty. Um, so I'll go back, and I'll select, I want to select both feet, actually. So select the feet. I'll give it a priority of, of two or something. Um, and then you can actually add a center of mass. So this will kind of, um, this will work. You'll notice it, it's it's not crazy. Um, but yeah, you'll see, you, you, can, you can see what it does. It adds just a center of mass to the body when you move it around. Um, and, up here, you have 
the actual because th this is a solver this is in itself kind of like a uh a little solver inside of houdini um and it runs through these iterations and tolerances now a lot of the time actually i don't think this tolerance is quite enough so i actually go a little bit lower i'll, I'll sometimes i'll get some jittery feet is the whole thing if i if i leave this at 0 0.01 sometimes my f the feet on uh on this rig will will get all jittery and uh if I, if I have a lot of movement and stuff like that and i'll kind of start looking a little glitchy so i'll actually sometimes go go down to zero zero one or zero zero five that's fine um show you kind of what dampening does <clears throat> so the damper it is essentially like the smoother it is i don't think you can go much i guess you can um but essentially, you'd want to keep this. 0 0.5 is fine. Um, I sometimes go like 0 0.9. Or I usually don't go above 1. And then the more iterations you have, it, like most things, it's, it's going to be more accurate, but it's going to take longer to solve. Uh, and then you have this fabric solver, which I'm not exactly sure what's used for. I, I mean, it, it sounds like it's used for fabric and like maybe clothing or something. I can't attest to that. I don't, I don't know. I have actually not used this yet. I always just stay on the full body AI case over. Um, but as far as how this works, that is essentially uh, the gist of, of this solver. All right. So that I think about sums up the full body AI case solver. If you have um, questions about this, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer things. Or if you need me to make another video at some point in time, I can. Um, so, Again, thank you for watching. In the next class, I think we're going to cover um, some of the uh, match move animations uh, that involve using this full body IK node. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.